Hi, Elle Ingalls here at pressure-free.com and this is a continuation of my mini series I'm doing on myths about stress and anxiety. Day four, we are on day four and today is a myth that I operated under for decades. I noticed that my parents operated under this myth as well and to be really truthful here, I truly believe that if I could have figured this out 10 years earlier and dispelled this myth for my parents, they might still be living today. Um, both of them died of stress-based diseases, a heart attack and cancer. And um, so I, re I really truly believe that if I could have figured this out and shared this with them, it would have made such a difference. So what is this myth? This is the myth that you have your stressful day, you do your work day, school day, whatever it is, and then in the evening you relax, or when you get home, depending on when you work. You chill out, you relax, and, um, you, and you take care of yourself. And if you do that every day, you're going to be just fine. In fact, when I think about um, the things that my, uh, someone's giving me some love, thank you so much, some of the things that my father's physician told him, it was things like, um, Make sure you don't bring work home. Make sure you take time off. Uh, ha let the weekends be your weekends. Uh, really enjoy your vacation. Um, as my father battled diabetes, heart disease. Um, and so he didn't bring work home. He's super relaxed in the evening with us. We had a lot of fun as a young fam when he was you know, a young family. And Kathy B, thank you so much for being here. Um, and so did my mom. My mom would have what she called quiet time. And when she said quiet time, we would all just settle down, be more quiet. And she'd go take a bath and she'd read her novels and we could snuggle in bed with her, but it was quiet time. Then on the weekends, we had a summer home. My parents, my dad fished, he loved to fish. My, you know, very relaxing. We'd go up in the winter, we'd skate, we'd ice fish, we'd hang out on the lake. It was, it was very relaxing. And so, you know, have your stressful day and then relax and you're going to, you're taking care of your stress. You're going to be fine. Total myth. This is a total myth. And so if you've been operating that way for a while, I really want to dig in here because that is not how stress works. <laughs> and um, here's, here's the deal, especially if you're a type A high achiever, you actually don't need to take time off or slow down to de-stress. That is a myth. Here's what you need to do instead. You need to, throughout your day, notice when you start to feel emotions, they're gonna cause you to trigger fight or flight. You need to stop the stress response in the 10 second window when you're first starting to feel those emotions. If you don't, you're too late. And no amount of relaxing and no amount of taking time off is gonna fix you. So, I wish I had learned this decades ago, but I learned it in 2010. I figured it out through study research, um, basically using a method that I used to perform well on stage and applying it to everyday life and, and moment by moment life. So a lot of my clients, I have a client right now who's a really high level executive. She's like, oh my God, I love this lifestyle. <gasps> She's no longer triggering stress hormones. Oh my goodness, everything is possible then. If I could have taught this to my dad, I know his diabetes would have stayed so much more under control. If I could have taught it to my mom, I honest, honestly believe she could have protected herself from cancer. And I say that wholeheartedly, I can't wait to do hard research on this, but for my own body, I know that I just gave myself a whole bunch of quality life starting in 2010 when I started to see what the stress hormones really do to me. And you can figure that out too. It takes some sleuthing in a way. It also takes some sleuthing to figure out what exactly is causing me to trigger my stress hormones, <laughs> to release those stress hormones. I kind of hate that word trigger, but it works well in my course because my three-step mother has, has T's in it, lots of T's. I use a lot of alliteration in my course so people can remember. Um, and so here's the deal. You can, you can do all that relaxation. You can take time off and it can help you in some ways, but the only way to truly de-stress is to not release the stress hormones. 
When you don't release the stress hormones, you'll take on more challenges. You'll be able to do more in your day and you won't feel busy. That's the other thing that's kind of cool. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be teaching two sessions in a leadership conference. Um, and I'm super excited, super jazzed to work with this group. Uh, and I'm going to be teaching them about the B behaviors. So the B behaviors are, um, excuse my French, bitchy, bullying, bossy, um, blaming. You'll blame other people when you're under the, when you've triggered the stress response. You're looking for answers and, and you're just, you're just going to say, like, it's his fault I don't have my degree yet. And it's the kid's fault that I, I don't have supper ready yet or whatever it is. You're looking for answers. So you'll blame other people or shame yourself. Maybe you binge, so you're gonna to turn to alcohol, drugs, anything to make you feel good. And sometimes people think, yeah, I chill out at night with a glass of wine and that's how I take care of my stress. All that's gonna do is limit the amount of blood flow to your brain and cause some issues up here. <laughs> so, so it's not really de-stressing. It's actually causing your brain more stress to do that because stress hormones reduce the blood flow in your brain as well. Your blood, your brain needs a lot of, this whole thing needs a lot of blood flow. So um, back to the bees. So there's binging. There's, um, some people tell me they feel broken. They'll say, Elle, you know what? I feel like my brain is broken. That's, that's not a good feeling to have, especially if they've been doing a lot of substances to try and chill out. I feel like my brain is broken. Another thing is burnout, of course. Just I, I put an article in, did I put it in LinkedIn? I don't know, think I put it in Facebook, but I dropped an article in LinkedIn today. I'll try to find that link and put it in Facebook too, about burnout. I think I could write a whole book about what's in that article, by the way. Um, dispelling some of the things in it, but also agreeing with some of the things in it too. Um, so of course burnout is, is the result of triggering the stress response too much. But I'm also going to add the B word, busy. Tomorrow's the first time I'm going to coach a group about that too, because I was just recently working with somebody and they're like, I don't feel busy anymore. And I do even more than I used to. That's because when you're hooked on adrenaline and you're releasing adrenaline a lot, it's going to cause you to be in that busy mode. I, I encourage you to take a look at your work when you're in that adrenaline crazed mode and see if the work that you do is really on point. Honestly, if I look back at some of the work that I did under the, um, under the influence of adrenaline, <laughs> uh, it was not quality work. It was not quality work. So really, really taking a look at it and being honest. I also asked my guys, so I raised three boys, have a husband, and in 2010, about eight weeks into using the pressure-free method on myself, I got super brave and I said to the guys, I want, the on I want your honest opinion sitting around the dining room table. Did I used to bitch, moan, complain, blame, shame up to two hours every day? Because I seem to have an extra hour and a half to two hours every day and I don't feel busy anymore. And they all nodded yes. So when we trigger the fight or flight stress hormones, we move into behaviors that are less than stellar, certainly not optimal, it's when we get snippy with people. Have you ever said something or done something and later you really regretted it? It's like, oh crap, why did I say that? I've done it so many times. I wish I could take back so many moments. All of that is because you're under the influence of these hormones. So that's a myth to think that you can chill out every night or chill out on your weekend or take a vacation and you're going to be okay. If you're triggering the stress response and releasing those hormones in your body, you're building fat in your arteries, fat on your belly, and fat right at the base of your, your brainstem here, right between shoulder blades. You're shutting down your cognitive ability. You're messing with your digestive system. You're creating a wonderful acidic environment for cancers and bacteria, which is why people get ulcers, ulcerative colitis, all those kinds of things. So it's like, hi, Janine. <laughs> Thanks for popping on. I see some friends on. Thanks so much for joining me today. <laughs> So this is serious stuff and it's time for you to choose you and say, I want to get out of this. I have programs that range from $29 a month, $47 a month to full-blown one-on-one coaching programs. 
There's a way for you to learn pressure free that doesn't cost a lot of money. Or if you're ready to invest in yourself and, you know, basically accelerate, I call it the fast track, really dig into what's causing you to trigger fight or flight. I'm right here for you. So I hope this is helpful, dispelling these myths about stress. Um, if you like it, you know, pop me a message privately if you don't want to put something on here with comments or anything, because I know stress is a private subject, um, but I'd love to hear from you. If you need some help or you know someone, you're concerned about someone who could really use some help, now, now is the time. Please don't wait. Don't wait for the wake-up call. I'm going to keep saying that, but don't wait for the wake-up call. That's how I lost my parents. They got the wake-up call too late, too late. They should be. They should have been able to see my son get married. They weren't here. They have friends who are still living. You know, so they're watching from up there. I hope. But I wish you a great pressure-free night and uh, day. Whenever you're watching this, if you're watching the replay, appreciate you. And um, yeah, just just connect to me. Connect people to me that need help. I'm here for you. Bye.